Have you ever found yourself seized with a desire to paint a background of bricks like you'd find in a medieval castle? Well, I found myself in the same situation just a couple weeks ago. My vision for the original painting was toilet paper hanging on the wall of a medieval castle. It also looks pretty good like this, like it's sitting on the floor of a medieval castle, maybe sitting on a shelf. Unfortunately, I did not record this process, and so if I wanted to show anyone else how to do something like this, I was going to have to recreate it myself. Since this tutorial is about bricks, not toilet paper, I could do a toilet paper tutorial, please comment below if you'd actually like to see one of those. I just painted bricks. And now we come to the list of supplies you'll need. I'm gonna elaborate on these in a moment. Obviously, you're going to need something to paint on. I used a canvas, you could use cardboard, your wall, whatever you have around. You're gonna want paint, at least three colors. I actually ended up using a lot of colors in this. I used black, white, brown, and some different grays. I used acrylic paint for this project, but I'm sure other types of paints would work too. Although I got out all my paintbrushes and ended up using a few of them, the paintbrush I found the most useful for this project was this one, and then you're going to want paper towels or toilet paper. And so I was trying to make bricks like I did in that painting, I wanted the background to be gray. So I mixed my black and white paint to get a gray color I was happy with, and then painted the background of my canvas. So there, you can see me painting it, I'm painting it some more, I'm painting the sides. Then I'd wait for it to dry, except for I actually didn't, because I remembered that when painting that painting, I didn't actually have to wait for it to dry to go to the next level, which is outline your first brick. This can be whatever shape you want. I did paint it in, but not super well, because there's gonna be so many layers in this painting, it doesn't matter, you don't have to fill it in all the way. It's gonna be smeary and smudgy, and textured anyway, so it really doesn't matter if it's completely dry. You paint on whatever colors you want, you blend it, and then you're switching colors so that you don't have too much of any of the colors. But the thing you remember is, if you add too much one color, if you don't like the way it looks, just keep working with it. I feel like I was like constantly making mistakes in this one, so I was like, oh no, I put on too much brown, so I sort of covered it up with this light gray color. If you put too much one color on, put another color on that you like better. You can see how there's different layers of paint and how they all work together to make this texture. You can use whatever type of paint strokes you want. I did a lot of sideways ones on this one. For this one, I did some up and down. This one, I did some sort of tornado hourglass little sort of design and then smudged it a lot. Down here, you can see I had some little dots. If you want your bricks to look more like they did in my toilet paper picture, then you're going to want to leave a little bit of space, or even no space at all if you want, in between the bricks. Like later on, you can like use some paint to scuff over it and sort of smudge it all together. But for a painting that will look like the tutorial painting I am painting now in this video, outline the bricks with whatever color paint you want to outline them with to make a sort of thick mortar look. Of course, the mortar can be as thick or thin as you want, but it makes it much more defined. So on the tutorial painting, some of the bricks I outlined after painting the actual brick, and other ones I outlined before painting the actual inside of the brick, so it's completely up to you what you do with that. If you're not quite satisfied with the texture of your brick so far, blending the paint with your fingers is another great way to add texture. And then there it is, the the painting. I also painted the edges of the canvas in a similar multicolor way. It didn't exactly line up with the bricks, but I was happy with it. If you want to add still more texture, I found that taking a very, very, very small amount of paint and sort of dabbing the brush like this creates an interesting look. I probably could have left the painting at that, but did I? No, of course not. I had to throw brown all over the place and smudge it and paint it and try to fix it some more. What it probably was perfectly fine to begin with, even here where I add all this brown everywhere, it still ends up looking fine in the end. Because if you just keep working on it, it will turn out eventually, I think. Another way to fix any mistakes or just blend in the paint is to take a wet paper towel, or in my case, wet toilet paper, and just sort of scrub the painting. I actually did not use paper towels or toilet paper for painting this. I also used like a glossy black, so I think that's why part of the reason some of this is sort of shinier than other parts. So if you want to use glossy and non-glossy paint, that will add a little bit more uniqueness to your design. I remember I had to try to cover up some of the black, so that's why I'm blending with the toilet paper here at the end. The scrubbing part can also be done with a dry paper towel or dry toilet paper. I personally think a combination of wet then dry is best. And now it's time to reveal the tutorial painting. I feel like these bricks would be pretty good for like a green screen background. I actually really like the way both of these turned out. I think the main difference between the two is the outlining. And I think you can definitely use the same techniques that I showed you in this video to make bricks like this, or like this, or like something else entirely. Ah! If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you found this tutorial unhelpful, make sure to give it a thumbs down. If you decide to use this tutorial for anything, please take a picture of whatever you made and tag me on Instagram or Twitter. This medieval outfit was courtesy of my talented sister. It's a pretty cool outfit. It's really too bad you couldn't see more of it in the video. Maybe I should borrow it again sometime. Yeah, so anyways, thanks for watching. This has been 
another brick on the wall with Jaded Alice wearing a medieval costume. Thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If it wasn't, that that's really a shame. I put too much work into this for it to be worthless.